Okay, everybody, it's the last Raider. We're back with another video. This time I'm prob I'm talking about the election because I'm I'm sick and tired of all the censorship going on. So I'm like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> probably they're gonna come after me anyway, so I, I might as well just jump into the fray at this point. Uh, we have here Donald J. Trump on Twitter. Um, I don't now. Here's the thing. I don't know if this is true or not, but it will be interesting if it is. Uh, it, it kind of proves, if it is true, this kind of shows a massive problem with electronic ballot systems and electronic counting systems. But anyway, this from Donald J. Trump. Report Dominion deleted 2.7 million Trump votes nationwide. Data analysts finds 221,000 Pennsylvania vote, votes switched from Biden to Trump. 941 Trump votes deleted. And that's interesting because we've talked about votes being switched. We have not talked about votes being deleted. Now, as I said, this is coming from Trump's page. I, for the sake of integrity purposes, I'm not going to say this is absolute fact. But if it is, this kind of proves that there's more than just voter error. This is more than just uh, human error that happened in the electronic system with the Dominion. This is showing that possibly someone went in there maliciously because it's one thing to have one mistake nationwide start switching votes. It's another thing to have two mistakes that are not only switching votes from one candidate, but also actively de deleting said candidates votes. That in my opinion starts to look a lot more like something nefarious. Now, am I saying there's a giant conspiracy? Uh, no, no, what I'm saying is this is probably one guy who had access to the material and probably hated Trump and decided, fuck it, he was going to fuck with the entire election. Uh, yeah, I can. Because when you have electronic systems like this, you got to remember, electronics using more computer hardware to do a task, especially something meaningless like this, a lot of our technology nowadays advances pretty far because computers enable us that we can actually just take equations shove them into a supercomputer and the supercomputer can spit out the equations. Therefore, we can we can come up with all kinds of new materials, new methods of doing things. That's why things go went from very angular and architectural to really out there and curvy and wavy because we discovered we, we've done a whole lot of things. That's why you have new materials such as aluminum and things like that. These computers can do all kinds of technical equations that would normally take human beings years to complete and figure out. A computer can do these in a matter of hours, which is a big difference when you consider a year-long equation, a, an equation that takes a human computer a year long to make, would take a supercomputer a matter of an hour to figure out, and it just does the equations for you. The problem here is, I've got a mower outside. The problem here is, when you have something like this that's automatic, you kind of end up in the territory, and I kind of want to quote Scotty from, I believe it is Star Trek Three, where he says, the more they try to take over the pipes, the easier it is to stop up the drain. And he undoes about, he undoes like three bolts from the trans warp drive, and that causes a malfunction in the system. And it's, it's kind of like a newer car versus an older car, basically. The newer car, as it as it drives the small, like my wife's Ford, she's got a Ford Escape now, has a computer inside of it. If the transmission, the transmission had a slight hiccup, it would still have power and pull, but because it detected a slight irregularity, it just shut the whole vehicle down and would not allow you to start or move it. So the tiniest little thing could shut it down because the system is so sensitive. Take that over to a Ford F-150 from 1995, them jokers, we drove them things with crack. I remember my dad, he had one that had a cracked oil pan, a blowed out muffler, uh, had slipped a tire and lost all all six of its, I think five? Yeah, all five lug nuts off of the tire, which then shot the tire out the back end of the vehicle as it's going down the road. Literally, the, the wheel just fell off of it at one point because someone at the place, at the, uh, used to be a, a company, used to do, uh, tire rotation stuff. They they had a bunch of hiccups, and turns out my dad had one of them. And then on top of that, the transmission was shot. The air cooler didn't work. It only run on about a quarter of oil, but the thing would get up and go. Didn't go very fast, but it would get you from point A to point B. Uh, new vehicles nowadays, they have small problems. They mess up. 
So the thing is, it's easier to screw, it's easier for one person to go in and screw with the system the more automated you make it. Because as something goes down the assembly line, and all, say, say someone wants to mess up um, camouflage on a tank or something, they just add paint and dye to it. By the time it gets out to the end, yeah, you've caught like, you might catch 10 tanks that are painted pink in an automated tank factory or automated vehicle factory, but then you've got to go down the line and find every single part that's been run pink and it screws the whole system up. So, I'm not saying this is true, but if this is, and I think it will eventually, it will be confirmed later today, this means that the Dominion, I, I would say now there's probably more nefarious things going on. I'm not going to say this is a massive plot with hundreds of people. This isn't some James Bond plot, okay? We don't have a Bond villain with an army of bad guys. This is probably some person who did not like the election, feared Donald Trump winning, and maybe them and two other people. I'm, I'm probably going to say a group of six probably went in there, messed with the Dominion system so that after so many votes it would set it over. Now, mind you, the reason this, this had so many problems and the reason we're on this Dominion system is because in one of the states where it was used, we saw Biden have a massive uptick. And I was telling someone the other day, I said, if you're going to commit fraud, here's something that, that someone didn't think about. Um, it did it all at the same time. In other words, when Trump reached a certain threshold, Biden just got, it swapped a whole bunch of votes over to Biden all of a sudden. Uh, and this is probably the votes that were coming in. The problem is, if you're going to do something like that, you should have set it to multiple different intervals. In other words, different time stamp, different times at, as you're swapping the votes in. The problem is here, and the reason why we're at this point, is because Biden got like 200,000 votes in less than an hour. And they were all for him. Had we not had that happen, had you not had that massive uptick in this, you, would, you should have seen just a nice, casual run-up, and Biden suddenly gets the lead, and we don't know why. Trump is still getting votes, but now these other counties come in, and oh, look, Biden just manages to surpass it. The problem is when the Dominion system did this, I think whoever, I, I'm going to say this is probably more nefarious now, if this is true. Okay, a lot of ifs going on. So I'm going to tell everyone right now, this is my opinion, this is my theory. We have a small group of people probably, if it's nefarious, that has gone in, they d told the system to swap the votes at a certain point. The problem is Trump got so many votes in that the Dominion system decided, oh, we're going to just swap them out and it swapped every vote coming in for the next few seconds it was counting over to Biden instead of Trump. And this gave Biden such a massive uptick that everyone said, no, wait a minute, that looks suspicious. That's where, that's where we've seen this at. Whoever did this is probably pretty good with computers, but not very intelligent on social norms. Because somebody who gets out and talks to people in the real world, knows this would look fishy. But uh, yeah, we're also uh, continuing on the tweet because I, I just ran on that tirade for a bit. Trump also says that the states using Dominion voting systems switched 435 votes from Trump to Biden. If this is true, that's enough votes nationwide to probably flip a state somewhere. And if Trump gets a few states flipped, he's going to win. Uh, even though I think he's probably also planning to use the nuclear option, which the nuclear option is to keep the courts running and keep everything binded up until it's required for a vote of every state. And at that point, I think there are more Republican states out there than there are Democrat states, and every state will get a single vote. So funny part about that is the Democrats for years complained about wanting a majority vote uh, majority to determine the election, they're probably going to get it here if they keep this nonsense up. But anyway, folks, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, do you think I might be right? Do you think I'm wrong? If I'm wrong, tell me where I am, where you think I'm wrong. Uh, as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll keep trying to pull up what I can pull up over this nonsense and put out videos that I can on it if it's interesting to people. I don't know if politics would interest anybody or not. But anywho, as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.